All right, folks, the deck is Reno Elemental Mage. The goal of the deck is to play a bunch of elementals, buff them up with Therizane, as well as summon them with Marut Stonebinder, reducing their cost to one mana with Luna's Pocket Galaxy if possible, and then drawing through our deck with a bunch of card draw. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle or here on YouTube. Watch this! Oh god. Are we actually going to encounter Plague Death Knight in Wild? Get back to work. There's no turning back now. He's uh no matter what type of Death Knight we're up against, it's not a good hand for it. We have turned our Even. Okay. Into That's our much strength. better. Welcome, Dark. Congratulations, and sorry that happened to you. Seems like a good book. No? I mean, I guess it's better to draw this now than... for turn and get irritated that way. Sure, we're playing an elemental next turn. Hmm. Not sure faces where I would go with uh those attacks. Four mana six six. Very nice. I've got the uh remnant next turn. Just trying to survive to the, uh, well, multiple arenas. I would have liked to have cleaned that guy off, but... We are going to have to restart the elemental chain, but Therizane is a good card. Our gift of the arcane enlightens us. Seven. Okay, perfect. All right, seven, ten. We're gonna have some fun. And we don't have to worry about any of these going face, which is nice. Clear board, which means we've got a couple of options for next turn. Um, it actually probably just needs to be in the Therizane. Trade here. And we're just looking to make it to the arena next turn. Which will once again reset the elemental chain, but we can restart it with some of the, uh, the ones that aren't relying on other elementals. And they will be quite large. Basically, turn 8 is probably the Reno, turn 9 is looking like uh, Ashen, Pyros, plus a Ping, unless we hit a 2 mana elemental. Pick me, pick me. Ooh. Blood Tap is good value. But so is Therizane, I guess. We have seen duplicates, so I need to expect Reno on their end. Jeez. Do I need to Reno here? They dropped the Astalor. Yeah. I mean, it's it's turn eight. He's active. We play. Him. Like, there's an odd chance that they just randomly have a Helia in the deck, so probably better to just get it out of the way. Well 
Helmet! Happy birthday Roffalo. To celebrate, we're going to make pork tacos with fresh salsa and a lime crema. Okay. That sounds good. But it's not my birthday. Thank you for the 20 months though, Benno. That might be an issue. The shapes are, are kind of awkward for this board, at least. earlier in the turn. Alright. A little sketchy here because they do have the Astalor. But I do still have the other Reno. Just an epsilon here. Kill that and that. You will be crushed beneath the endless tide. Evil frogs. Evil frogs. Job done. Okay, that's good for. A little bit of healing if we need it. We do have lethal even if they just kill the one here. Unfortunately, that's more than the one. Clear. It is quite expensive though. My pain doesn't There's the curses or plagues. Calimos clears, right? He does three. in my deck. And we don't get the healing. You have earned an eternity of torment. You've created a temporal anomaly. You have earned an eternity of torment. That's a lot of torment. really unlucky to hit three in a row like that. My deck isn't that. All of them. Alright. Gotta try and get there next turn. I think that's their last chance. Unless I just draw four in a row. is not likely to happen. I guess it would only have to be three in a row with the ghoul. Yeah. 
still not terribly likely to happen. Got what, six, seven, eight. Eight less than half of my deck is plagues. My compliments <coughs> to the ship. Lightboard is killing it! To draw two in a row now, still unlikely. early curve. This counts. Pray it's not secret mage. Or quest mage. I guess we do have this if it's quest mage. Doesn't look like either though. Unfortunately, we might just have to play a naked amalgam so that uh, we can keep the elemental chain rolling for the Azerite Giant. Yeah. Ten lives? No. Excuse me! Over here! What a gamer. Worst case scenario, I can coin this and then play this behind it. Elgin bug, you man. Rama, hello. So we go, worst case scenario, we go here, into here, here. This is playable alongside this. So we just hit them both. And then hope to get something like Ragnaros off this. For that double ragnaros -y. Molten Rune. Also, this into the Therizane. Oh, okay. not Molten Rune. This into here doubles the value, kind of, on that. On whatever minion we hit off of it, so that's pretty nifty. Double Zeph would have been nice, but. Oh, we actually hit the double Ragnarussi. Oh. It's beautiful. And then we just turn them back into the the regular Ragnaros with the uh, Therizane. So they have another one of those in hand. It's not really the end of the world because if we have the Ragnaros, we have the uh, the double rag, I guess. We have the uh, Neptulon. Pretty good spot, I think. We just have like rather large numbers on our minions as well. Two of them. Nice. Face. Oh. Why couldn't you be more like your brother? You wouldn't believe how many times I heard that growing up. It's unfortunate for me.
Oops. I hope you enjoy that. Well, if your brother was Ragnaros, I don't doubt that you'd constantly be coming up short. Insect. <laughs> wow. Wow, just reliving childhood trauma. Thank you, Kali. That was the singular spell in my deck, by the way. So, pretty unfortunate that we rolled that. Just draw better, I don't know what to tell you. Well, why didn't you say that before that happened? It's not <laughs> much use to me now. In the light's name. Big boy. Bonk. Bonk. Oh man, I can't wait to get 10 of these. That just killed you. It's actually a pretty good looking keep. We can coin one of these two, play the other one on curve, and then figure it out from there. This might be a little ambitious. Same as this. So let's look for some of the cheaper stuff. That counts. Okie dokie. can consider a few things for next turn, but many of them involve the uh, Flame Revenant here. Oh, we got that guy back. This one's kind of interesting. Alright. I mean, it's a little ambitious, but it's fun. It gets us to the uh, pocket galaxy. That was, uh... One of the worst possible outcomes. So that's unfortunate for me. them to have a board clear for this. It's mostly a board clear. Probably good enough, at least. I kind of feel like Zeph is worth hanging on to for... An attempted lethal push, if we can figure that out. Or even just to clear on that, because that's a fair amount of healing. That's rude. 
I want cane explosion. Fan of knives, even better. Got they buffed that card. <laughs> Got rag. This looks like a Reno, the hero. Nope. Okay, that makes this a great play. The future is ours. And it sets up the rag. Or just the lethal on board. I am the Tempo King. Hey, it's Pyros. Unsilenced, I'll have you know. Look, this is a terrible, terrible plan. But we keep these hands. <laughs> Bring back Big Shaman 20... Jeez, no. No. The last thing we want is that the Big Shaman meta with Big Rogue was one of my least favorite things to have ever existed. That's probably an important draw. Urge. I don't know if we're actually going to get the Pocket Galaxy off in this matchup. Arstone, are you okay? What happened to my frame rate there for a moment? Well, unfortunate. We were pretty sure we had sorted out the sorted out the uh, disconnect. Hopefully that's just an anomaly. Reality. You can't stop these snows. I'm sorry, doggo. Like we could have saved the uh this for the big spell here, but that's not worth it. Like it still heals for three and that's fine. They're doing a lot of minion clearing, which I'm just kind of fine with right now. Suddenly they've changed their mind. Imagine playing around Dirty Rat and Mutanus. Couldn't be me. Okay, look away, chat. This is going to get ugly. But we have to play around scale command. You'll need to run faster than that. All right, now we get to play the fun game of do we die here? Like, how hard do I want to edge the Reno? Only got three cards in hand. How much damage could they really do? I mean, I'm concerned about uh, Furious How. This is two mana. Four. So that's four damage. They would have five left. Let's say it's aim shot. That's eight more. I'm no coward. Incoming Dragon Bane. Dragon Bane is very unreliable now. So that's the good news. Oh, 
Or what? Are you sure about that? I guess they're just in desperation mode. I don't know what draw they could have gotten that would have made that worth, though. Or would have gotten them lethal from here. Oh, we're dead. Well, they found the draws. Oh, they miscounted. Oh, that's one off. I have endured enough. Watch your back. There's no turning back now. That's on this. Saw you in Zeddy video. What is going on in duels? I mean, people are doing some cheating, I think. That's, but I don't know what that has to do with me. Job's done. There be no treasure six feet under. Is a sound clip from you in the video? Oh. What was I saying? Well met. Have a sub. Been enjoying the Slay the Spire videos these last few days. Your wish is my hey, happy to hear that, Bronze. Give it the two months. Something about your opponent hitting the nuts. That sounds like something I'd say. I guess I'll just watch the video to get the context. I don't know. But, like, I, I haven't played duels while the bug stuff was going on. So, I haven't, like, experienced that. Just the uh, just the typical duels experience of opponents hitting the nuts, you know. Likely we lose the elemental chain, but we've got jeez, uh, be some follow-ups at least. Uh, let's take that off the board. It's kind of spooky. Most of my deck is playable next turn. Seen that clip too? Your commentary is scarily fitting for the footage. Yeah, it's probably just a a goof since I play duels and it just lined up with what was going on. But I haven't seen the video. Never bring a sword to a fish fight. Ow. Can I get you to stop, please? The future is ours. Well, it's a playable card, so I'll take it. Duels heard something about not going gently into that good knight and has decided to really show Hearthstone what a clown fiesta actually looks like. I'm so proud. Yeah, the unfortunate reality, though, is that it just validates the decision, right? Because the reason was, the reason given was that it's difficult to maintain and there are a lot of bugs. And then this happened. She didn't draw any cards, but she healed for four. That's a good job, as far as I'm concerned. How did they hit a pirate with all of these spells? In their deck, you know? Alright, let's play this Reno, clear the board, and then continue uh, edging a little bit here. But I don't think it's... I think it's just like a security flaw. I think it's more tied to the fact that they just laid off a bunch of engineers because they're profit-seeking ghouls. There be no treasure six feet under. Glory. I'm here for the gold. Rise me, hearties. That's just like your typical um, corporate America behavior. Be rich. 
I should say they're run by profit-seeking ghouls. Nor is it unique to the industry, but it sure is prominent in the industry. No turning back now. One, two. Keep the Reno because Paladin tends to be board based. QA is not given the proper credit they deserve. Yeah, at my uh, at the last company I worked at. Well met. Uh, before I started streaming, our QA team was like was quite good, but the, despite being understaffed. And after years of being understaffed and underpaid, they just left in mass to a new company. Like the the manager took her entire team to a new company, and it was just like chaotic for a while. Uh, fortunately, that was just before I left, so I didn't have to deal with it long. But it was an absolute nightmare. She was like simultaneously the uh, the QA manager and the release manager too. So like scheduling product releases was just on hold for a while, it was... The light dims, but it was great evidence for why QA is important. New cards, Pog Champ. Do I ever coin this fellow? No, we just make a four mana six six. Deputization or is just so much healing. Just wanted to point that out because it's important that everybody hears my complaints. You are frequently concerning, friend. By the holy light. Reporting for duty. go here and then we can coin the flame elemental to keep the actually do I need to All right none of these require an elemental to be played I don't really care that much about the overflow surger or the azurite giant at this stage so I can hang on to the coin maybe save it for next game we've also just got 14 with the wind fury on uh, this guy so there's a decent chance we have lethal next turn with the uh, Zephyrus Hold. All right, any lethalers? 14, 18, 19. GG. Your wish is my suggestion. Oh, my mouse is acting <laughs> weird there. I almost misclicked. Jeez. <laughs> Be sick if Scar was a Shaman Mage dual class legendary. Yeah, but like in a couple of years when Badlands rotates, you can simply just be good at the game and eroded sediment into Scar. It's quite simple, really. Ah, ah. I see you brought guests. Oh no, they're gonna break my Alunith in my collection. Clearly for the staff of Medivh. Right, what did I say? Who actually has a Lunith? Is it Medivh's mom? I don't know. I don't follow 
StarCraft lore. Awful, would you rather be a shark or a train? Um, whichever one gets me out of having to answer those types of questions. Will this still give me wild growth? Because I want wild growth. Unlucky, at least we get an elemental for next turn. Would you still love chat if we are worms? No, worms are icky. I also don't have the capacity to love chat presently. Hey, you're very welcome, Karina. Appreciate the, uh, the kind words. Boom! I am the Tempo King. No, put that card back. That one, too. Oh, man. They're gonna slag my balls here in a moment. Take two, dummy. Got him so good. They'll never recover from this. Okay, maybe they will. Six mana is what? Uh, trial by fire? Bran? Guess we'll never find out. Sag. 